name is Keith Hodgen. I'm a flight instructor. I did serve nine years in the Army. Uh, I got out during the Vietnam era. I did not get to go to Vietnam or anything. I got invited to go, but I was in a, in a position that I could say, no, thank you, I'll stay here. But uh, I did spend nine years in. And what else do you want to know about me? Why do you have a statue right here? What is this? This, is, this display is one of the many displays in the, in the Aviation Museum and Hall of Fame. And this particular one is honoring the Tuskegee Airmen. Do you know anything about the, the Tuskegee Airmen? He ride an airplane? The, the Tuskegee Airmen was basically a social experiment because colored people were, were originally thought to not be able to have the, the skills or the ability to fly airplanes. So the Tuskegee Airmen proved them wrong. There was, there was about, I think there was a little over 1,200 people of color that were, that were trained to fly airplanes in Tuskegee, Alabama. And they, the, the airplane that they learned to fly in, there's a, a, a big old yellow bi biplane over here that's the type of airplane that they learned to fly in. Uh, the, the Tuskegee Airmen, again, they were a social experiment. They were, their first deployment was to North Africa in an area, and they were given uh, missions that were, missions that nobody else wanted to do. Basically a lot of ground stuff and like that. And by accident, they were, they came upon a bomber that was supposed to be escorted by some white guys. Well, these white guys, they wanted to become an ace, so they were, they had gone out chasing the Germans. And they had abandoned the, their job. The Tuskegee Airmen jumped in and saved this bomber. And they did not, orig originally they did not, the, the, the bomber crew did not want them to to fly escort for them. But they, they built a reputation because they had saved the other, bom the other uh, bombers, or the bomber escort. And they were, no they, were, they were also known as the red tails because the tail of the airplane was painted red. So they became famous there. Uh, there were some of them that, that, that actually got killed doing that. Uh, I don't think that, they, that any, of the, in any of the bombers that they were ever tasked to escort, they ever lost a bomber. Now, the, they also, one of the things that was not known about the Tuskegee Airmen was that there were some, there were two different groups of Tuskegee Airmen. The, the display that's right behind you was, uh, I think it was Ben Alexander. He ended up in a, a bomber group that had never got deployed. They were deployed up to a base in Ohio. And unfortunately, because of the, they were people of color, the commanding officer of the, of the base would not let them go into the officer's club. And he eventually lost his job because of that. There, so that was one of the battles that the people of color had to do to get their rights and so on. Some other displays across the way over here that I like to talk about is about women that were famous in aviation. One of, you know, one of the, the women over there that's, that I like to talk about, there's a lady over there by the name of Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman was the first, first lady of color to get her pilot's license, to be able to fly in the, in the U.S. And because she was colored, she had to go to France to get her to learn how to fly. She got killed in, an air, in, a, uh, in a training mission before a flight. Now, do you want to become a pilot? What do you want to do? What grade are you in in school? 
first grade. First grade. Are you are you studying? Are you making good grades? Yes. Okay. Have you have you ever heard of what they call STEM program in school? No. STEM program stands for science, engineering. Uh, I forget to what the other is, but anyway, it's 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 about uh, a lot about the mathematics and and the uh, the physics on on uh, in school. One of the things that you need to do is continue to make good grades, study hard, study. One of the things that I, that I like to push is to study history. Now, one of the things that Mr. Adams did not cover is that there are lots of programs within the school and within the Civil Air Patrol. Have you ever heard of the Civil Air Patrol? You know what Civil no. Air Patrol is? No. Civil Air Patrol was actually formed on December 1941, on December the 1st. We were bombed in in Japan in Pearl Harbor, December the seventh, nineteen forty-one. What some of the other displays in here? We talked about the, the uh, flip fire, the silver airplane up there that Mr. Adams talked about. Uh, we did we did not actively get involved in the battle in Europe until D-Day. Do you know when D-Day was? That was, well, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of D-Day last week. This week, last week. The 6th of, the 6th of June, 1944, we, there was an invasion into, into France. The biggest invasion that has ever been done. Now, let's, let's go back, let's go back to uh, what you can do to, to advance yourself in the, in the aviation. One of the things that you need to do is you need to, in the sixth grade and at age 12, you can join the Civil Air Patrol. Now, one of the things that you can do as a Civil Air Patrol, you can take flying lessons in the Civil Air Patrol. They, they, the only thing that it costs you if you want to fly a Civil Air Patrol airplane is the cost of the airplane and the fuel. The flight instructor cannot, cannot, cannot charge you for his work. And he, and he has to do a good job. And there are flight academies that you can go to. If you, also in the, in the schools is ROTC. One of the, another way to, another way to, to uh, the heat that Mr. Adams had talked about to get your experience in aviation was to go, to go into the military. What's the best way to go into the military? Go in to one of the academies. You know what? Do you know about the, the military academies? The Army has one at West Point. The Air Force has one in Colorado. The Coast Guard's got one. The Navy's got one. So all of the military, there's a military, and they are highly selective on how they go. You have to have a, a recommendation from a senator or one of, one of the legislators. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Give this a thumbs up. Comment what's your favorite thing that he talked about. Bye.